play him in this in this one all kind of went into that for you guys uh, yeah we, we'd love for him to play here but realistically he's too important to us and the way things are not having had a chance to do the full training camp with our team and not having played five on five in such a long time he's He's too important. He's here doing practices and doing individual work, but uh, for him and for us, we decided the best thing was not to have him participate. And then I, th I think some people maybe don't aren't aware, but these guys, once they finish college, don't play much five on five, right? And while they're preparing for the draft and all of those things, I mean, they don't play five on five, and it's a long process where I, you know they spend a portion of it preparing for draft workouts, then they go through draft workouts, then they go through the draft. And they're already carrying a full year's load from having played the whole season. Jared played up to the championship game. So for us, we want to keep him healthy. We'll build him up through the rest of the summer. But he's too important uh, not to have him play right now. What have your initial impressions been of him actually being able to be around the team? And all that stuff? It's been great. I wish you guys could see the uh, individual workouts and the practices. But a guy that size, that talent, that ability, his instincts and basketball IQ is something we're excited to add to the team. So we, we, we really like his versatility, his field, his IQ, his ability to play on the ball, off the ball, to play a couple of decisions offensively and defensively. We see a lot of upside with him. You know, he's got a tough uh, identity that translates on both ends. He, he plays hard without the ball. He runs the floor. He cuts off the ball. Um, he's going he's gonna to be a guy that makes our offense go. We feel like he's going to improve as a shooter in our system with better shots, but we like his toughness. I mean, he played a key role for that team in Portland last year, and we really see him carrying over and continuing to grow and develop. And he's a great fit for how we want to play offensively and defensively, and he's got great character. So we're, we're excited to have him as part of our organization. Positionally, is he more similar to what maybe Robert will be doing or what Andrew will be doing? Do have yeah, I think positionally we're positionally. point guard, wings, and fives. So um, our ability to put different – lineups on the floor that'll impact other teams and you know either they'll try to go big against us and we can play faster or you know they'll they'll make different adjustments and try to play with us as we play smaller but we feel like we have good depth at the wings and the ability to put the best players on the floor regardless of position is something that we want to focus on when you were evaluating Vonley, did you just kind of see him start to take big strides last year in New York and what he was able to do there, I guess? So. Uh, well, well, the league is, is very interesting in that you're in different stages, and it's a lot of it is not whether you have talent or not. A big part of it is do you get the right opportunity and do you make the He's been in a couple of places where he didn't get the opportunity. He had a good year in New York last year uh, when he got the opportunity to play. So for us, a young player with upside that fits how we want to play, you know, his physicality to play a couple of positions, some four, some five, uh, great kid, great work ethic. I mean, everybody that's been around him praises him for his approach and how hard he works. So get, being able to add an individual like that, and, and we're, taking, we're taking bets on guys, and he's taking a bet on us, how we're going to play and he's going to have an opportunity to impact what we do and how we do it. Do you think the part of it with him, the fact that last year he played pretty well, is because when he came out of Indiana, he was really young. You know, he was one of those guys that didn't stay around for a lot of years. So do you think that that's the biggest reason why we're starting to see him really mature? And sure. Well, I mean, it's, you know, I, I said it earlier, but he's a talented individual. You just got to get to the right place. And for us, he fits with his defensive ability, his ability to rebound, his ability to stretch his game out to three is something that we value and that we're going to push. But he's, he's he's got great character. He's got great approach. He's got great work ethic so we feel like he's going to have an opportunity to to be a really good fit in how we want to play and he adds to our culture and our character at a high level the ty wallace uh, waiver claim went through today i'm not sure how much you can even discuss on that but where if you can where do you see him fitting into this group so you know as i said earlier we're, we're taking bets on guys just yeah. as they take bets on us you know he's had uh you know for his size his age and another guy that fits how we want to play uh, his ability to to defend and to play make and he's a he's a guy that's got to develop his shot but we have you know an opportunity to to, to get a free look at him and that's what we're going to do anytime there's a player that might be a system fit for us that we can acquire 
uh, strategically, we're going to do it. And, you know, he's, he's interesting. It, it's a guy that brings some playmaking to us that we need in our mix, but also gives us a, a defender who, at, at his size, can cover a couple of positions. Is he more a primary ball handler or kind of secondary, like you're talking about with Culver? Or? He's more of a primary guy. Um, you know, he's still in the process of establishing himself as a player in this league, uh, but he's a guy who can initiate some offense and, and get your team into its offense. Gerson, did, that, did the tie us offer sheet factor into that move at all? Or, uh... I mean, our, our approach is always the same. There's players available that might be good system fits, you know, and the waiver claim, you know, where we're at right now where teams ha sometimes have to cut guys because they make trades or ha have signings, we want to take advantage of that. It's a free look. You know, we'll take a look at it. We'll evaluate him and give him an opportunity to see how he fits in our program. Did you uh, hire the right head coach? I mean, Pablo is 3-0 and right now. <laughs> Every time he wins a game, he comes over to me and tells me he wants to retire so he can be undefeated. But, no, it's, you know, and we've got great leaders. And uh, Ryan deserves a lot of credit because he's laid the, the foundation and the philosophy for how we want to play. Um, but Pablo, David Vanderpool, Brian Gates, and the rest of our staff there, it's, it's, they're passionate. What you see on the floor is a reflection of what these guys did in, in Minneapolis last week, what we're doing in practices every day. The bench is up and they're into it. Guys are excited to play. We're playing hard. You know, not a lot of teams play defense in summer league, and our guys are doing it. We're playing faster. We're playing more efficient. We're getting good shots. So it, it's fun. These guys are enjoying it. Um, Pablo's been great, the whole staff's been great, but Ryan deserves a lot of credit for setting this thing up for him.